Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my 25th Python 3 tutorial. Uh, so this tutorial is kind of going to be continuing off of the last two um, in which I talked about file input and output. Um, however, this is going to be a little bit different type of file I.O., um, and it's called pickling. Um, and in Python, pickles are they are objects that you save to a file. So it doesn't have to, anything to do with the real-life pickles. Um, but instead they're actually just objects that you can save to a file. So this could be a variable, a dictionary, a list, uh, any type of I object in Python, which is actually nearly everything because Python um, is an object-oriented language. So um, first what you have to do to be able to do this is you have to import the pickle module. Um, this contains all the functions and such that you'll need to be able to pickle objects. So let's go ahead and import pickle. Alright, so now if we type in help pickle, um, you can see that it's got, you know, the different methods and stuff that we need. So let's go ahead and pickle some objects. Um, first, let's create an object that we wish to use. So I'm going to create a movie list, and it's going to be a list, so square brackets. And let's just put some movies that, just some movies. So movie, not the word movie. All right, there we go. Monty Python. Um, Inception. Good one. Star Wars. And one more. How about Lord of the Rings? <clears throat> okay. So there is my movie list, and I can print it out if you want me. If you want, so you can see it. There, there it is. All right. So now we create a file object. Um, much like we did in the file input and output tutorials. So what we're going to do, let's create an out file. And this out file, so we go open, if you remember from the last tutorial, put the file name, which I'm going to call pickle.txt. It doesn't have to be called this, you know, just whatever you want. Um, and then this is where the difference is. Um, we're going to be opening it in writing mode, so we can write the object to the file, but we don't open it in text mode we open it in binary mode, so we put a B after the W, not a T as we did before, um, because Python needs it to be in binary mode to be able to pickle. So um, now we have our object, uh, our file object, and now what we do is we call what is called the the dump function um, in the pickle module, and this is you pretty much dump your object into the file. So we'll go the module name dotted notation and then dump and you can see the different uh, parameters that it has and so the first one is the object that you want dumped or want pickled and that is going to be our movie list and then next goes the file that you want dumped too so we go out file and there you go you've done it um, this is what is called pickling an object um, you pretty much just put it into a file so let's go ahead and close that file um, and if we want right now, we can actually take a look at um, that file that we just uh, put the object in. Now, the only thing um, with this is because we wrote it in um, binary mode, it looks like this. So you can't really um, you can't really understand what's going on here because unlike before, where we wrote in text mode and we just wrote simple strings, um, this is written in binary mode, so you can't understand what's happening here. You can see the words that we had. Um, but you can't really understand everything else, which is you know fine because Python deals with that uh, for us. We don't need to deal with that. So now um, let's go ahead. Actually, we're just gonna not highlight everything, and we are going to restart the shell, um, just because pretty much what that does is it wipes everything. So there's no chance that I could still have any of the lists floating around or anything. That object is gone from Python shell. So let's go ahead and what's called unpickle the object, which is pretty much pull it from the file. So let's import that pickle module again. And now let's create um, another file. So we need an in file. And pretty much the same thing, you know. That This is the file name that we made, so we need to have this one the same. And then open it in reading mode, and again, binary mode, not text mode. So there's our file object. Um, and now what we call next is the load function. <clears throat> and um, this is going to unpickle the object or bring it back into Python for us. 
uh, and this actually will return the object. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable already set up and ready to receive this object. So we'll go new list and then the assignment operator and pickle.load and you put the file um, that you want loaded and then or that you want to load from sorry so this in file and it will get whatever objects in there and then return it into this variable so go ahead and hit enter now it's done it let's print the new list and there you go you see that um, it loaded it or unpickled that object from this file now um, uh, let's go ahead and close this real quick before okay now if you uh, you may have noticed that there is a restriction uh, a limitation on pickling and that is that you can only put one object in a file um, because uh, when you try to load if there's multiple objects it'll mess it up so what you can actually do to get around that um, is you can put a bunch of objects inside of a list um, and you can have each list element being a different object so like one list element could be another list another could be a dictionary a third could be a string and so on and so forth um, and that and then you can just pickle the entire list uh, and then later on when you want to retrieve it you can retrieve the list uh, unpickle the list and then retrieve the separate elements um, and there are different ways to um, put objects in files but pickling is by far the easiest um, so again Remember, you have to import the pickle module, um, and then it's pretty simple right from there. You see, pretty much all we did is right down here. Um, not too many lines of codes at all. So you created the list and then the file, and then you called the dump function in the pickle module. And the first parameter is the object you want pickled, and the second is the file. And that's all you have to do to pickle. And then to unpickle, you just call pickle.load and then the file that you want to unpickle the object from, and it'll return it, and you can store that in a variable. So that's pretty much all there is for pickling. Um, it's very simple, very, very helpful, especially if you want to store um, objects outside of, uh, or store objects on your hard drive instead of just on the short-term memory so it doesn't get wiped each time you change a program. And this is helpful for if you have a list of usernames in, in a program, you're going to want to pickle those usernames. <clears throat> Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.